Hello guys, my name is Oscar and you're welcome to my YouTube channel. Today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys my skill presets which help make my video editing a lot more easier, especially when I'm working with videos for the internet, which is Instagram, Facebook, with the different dimensions and all whatnot. So let's quickly dive into it so I can show you guys what the skills presets are and what they do. Uh, so first off, we're going to create a new sequence here in Premiere Pro. A new sequence I have the sequence presets for various internet video dimensions so I'm going to go with Instagram video feed which is the 4x5 which gives you the largest screen real estate on Instagram and it's most especially good for videos doesn't work for all videos but very good for videos so if you want to use this dimension on Instagram and you've shot a clip in 4k what you would normally do is to drag the clip in and let's just keep existing settings. You can see that the clip is actually cropped. If you come out here to effects settings, you can see that the clip is cropped. If you zoom in, that's the scaling, see that, okay, this is what we're losing. We're losing a lot more of the clip if it was left at 100. So you can go to my presets to use my presets, depending on where you saved it. I've got mine here. I just go to uh, scale presets 4K and let's see scale insta feed scale 4K and we've got it here so I'm just going to drag and drop that on my clip and you see what happens is that the scale changes the scale changes and it actually centers it in a sort of way let's undo that and see the difference so you see how it was when I dragged and dropped it and if we redo that you see that it scaled it. Another thing you can do after this is done, you can come down to the effects controls and drag it. Depending on where the action in your footage is, you have a lot more space to drag it left and right and frame your shot as desired. And that's the first scale preset. Okay guys, let me show you one more use for these presets. And I'm going to show you how you can use it to actually scale your IGTV and Instagram stories when you're editing for the internet. So we're going to go to new sequence, create a new sequence, and we're going to use the IGTV story sequence and click OK. Automatically, you can see that this looks like how your phone looks. So when you're editing for Instagram stories, normally you'd want it to cover the whole screen, make use of the whole real estate of your screen. And in order to achieve that, you have to use scale in some way. And instead of you going up and down and trying to decide the right scale, which is going to take some precious minutes of your time, especially if you're on a tight time frame, what you're going to do is this. So I'm going to drag in my 4K clip first of all in here. And here's my clip and I've got it dragged. I'll keep existing settings. You can see that once dragged in, you can see that it's zoomed in. And if we go to effect settings, clicking on the clip and you can see that it's on 100%, 100% the scale, it's on 100. So for us to scale this properly without having to drag it manually and trying to see where else, I know some of you, it might not take time, but this would actually help you. So I'm going to reset that to 100. And what I'll do is go into the effects and check on that Oscar preset. I'm going to just drag in the IGTV, Instagram TV scale 4K. And once I drag and drop that, you see what happens. There's a difference. I'll undo that so you see it again. Minor difference, but albeit a difference. So I'm going to drag that back and there you go. So what did that do? That has helped us scale it without us having to fiddle about. And depending on that, where the action is on the frame, you can also still drag to the right and drag to the left and make you full use of all that 4K footage or 1080p or whatever you shot. And this applies for all of the presets depending on the sequence you have all the presets are represented in here the most popular ones anyway which are being used and in demand for creating videos on the internet i hope this tool is going to be very useful for you and i hope you enjoy it it's a free tool which i'm putting out and i am putting it out just to help fellow filmmakers and editors like me to actually speed up their work so if you love this video like it subscribe to my channel and i've got more awesome filmmaking content coming for you very very soon stay tuned